Cutscene. Welcome back to Boston Random. We may have found one of the card makers. Oh, hey there, little one. Is that what it is? Can you talk? Have you seen an alchemist around here somewhere? I dare say I have, little one. Oh, Every God. time I look in a mirror. Oh, he's mad. You're the alchemist. <laughs> Indeed I am. And I'd have thought the visionary would have sent a more impressive champion than you. Hey, I fought to be here. <laughs> so old-fashioned. Yeah, Dicey, say hi. I'm not impressed. There's a lot more to being a dice wielder than merely wielding dice. I don't suppose you've like learned what? that yet. Uh, look, we got off on the wrong foot. Can we start over? Oh, believe me, there's no right foot here. I don't suffer fools or children. You are both. Oof. <sighs> Let me tell you what I do here. I take raw materials, ingredients, tinctures, essences, and use them to enable cards to do what they must. These days, of course, the Queen has us only making her cards, and for that I need only metals. Those are supplied by the garbage shipped from one craft. So you're saying robots are made of junk from my mm. hometown? Ah, you're a wonder, of course. You and your family's whole purpose has been to supply the raw materials to build the very robots that subjugate the rest of random. Probably very depressing, even enraging, to find this out. All of you made into unwitting collaborators of the Queen. Started being her willing collaborator, how I'd say. How are those cards going? I, we, we are all compromised by her. And you... You're sharper than you look. Ooh. Now, I suppose you want me to make you a card to use in battle against said queen. Please? The other card makers are making my dream card. Yes, please. I want to destroy her. As a child, you probably want everything all at once. So please, try to focus on this. Well, you know the queen dwells in Sixtopia, don't you? Yes. Obviously. Again? Rude. Who's rude? Well, you must also <laughs> know that Sixtopia is cut off from the rest of Random. You can't get there from here. From anywhere. What do you mean cut off? Just that. It can't be reached by anyone in Random. You How? We'd be cowering here in the ruins of our world if we could reach her and do something about it. Please, think like an adult. Then what I'm doing is pointless. How do I reach it? How do I? You don't know, but you've been God for crying out loud. <laughs> you really are a child. Tell me all you know about the queen. I know more than most. I know her history. I know what she's done. And I know she can't easily be stopped. What I don't know is why she's doing this. You don't do the because amount she's of insane evil. she's done in this world unless there's something you want or something you're afraid of. I do not know what that is. There's something she wants. What is it? There's something she wants. Yeah. There are things oh. even I don't know. I can't imagine there's any interest she couldn't sate with her power. Fears? I can't yeah. say. In all my studies, all I have determined is this. If there is indeed something the Queen fears, it isn't anywhere here in Random that I can detect. That leaves one option. It's inside her castle. In Sixtopia. But why would she fear something inside her castle? And now you finally see my yeah. problem. Can you help me make a card? I don't even know you. You're a little kid. I don't see why I should help you do anything. The only thing I could think of is if the queen has something sealed inside the castle. It's like the old video game trope of having the only thing that could stop you in the same room as you. Maybe? I'm on a quest to save my sister and stop the queen. Your sister was taken by the queen. Then your sister may no longer be recognizable as the woman she once was. And even if she is... He will not want to return. But as for the second half of your quest, it is noble, if impossible and foolish. And yet, and yet the others have helped you. 
The painter and gluer I could take or leave, but the visionary, he has earned my respect. And if he <laughs> sees something in you that I don't, then I should trust his vision. So you'll help me? You'll make my dream card? Very well. I will help construct your card. Your so-called dream card. So should I tell you my dream so the card works fine? I'd like for my dream card to be great. 15 minutes of invincibility. No, 30. You're I'd not like, the rule master. I'd like my dream card to turn the queen into a frog so I can step on. So I can step on her. I'd like for my dream card to give me the ability to go back in time as much as I want. Uh, I was in the... Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, third? I don't know. I, I don't know. I want, I want to go back in time so we can stop the Queen okay. before she starts. Of course you would. You're a kid. That's not what you'll get. Now, step back. Gold Aww. Experience Requiem! <laughs> I want Gold Experience Requiem. <laughs> ah, there it is. Petal timing. Now, give wait, me a wait. Lock of your Speaking hair. about that. Please. Speaking about Magic that. Science. They both have their costs. How would that now, stand this work? We're surrounded by its garbage. Problem. And finally... Like, did the stand disc evolve too? Wait, what? Perfect. As always, Ooh. I might add. So, so if we're going by every stand user, has a stand go. disc. Sorry, say that again? I, I didn't quite catch what you said. So if every stand go. user has a stand no disc... From me, child. Oh, what? What did he say? You've stolen a treat no, from me or something. Now you need to follow it. So I like I don't think every stand has a stand disc. I think that White Snake forces that to happen. Oh like it makes the disc that absorbs the stand or what have you. Oh, and the memories. The yes. So, Giorno would have like gold experience requiem. So, what? What about gold experience requiem? Since it's a ball. And since sand discs are part of White Snake's ability. Oh, I'm sorry, Pale Snake. Um. So No, no, let's not beat around the bush. It's White Snake. Okay. So, just having an evolved sand won't affect the stand disc since it's Oh, here's not... another one. I guess we could have talked to Burn again if we had missed the others. Mm. Since it's not part of the, the stand itself, but really White Snake. So I'm not sure in that regard, especially because um, Gold Experience Requiem seems to be self-conscious. Like, fully self-conscious. Not just in the way that, like, FF is, right? Like, okay. FF is literally made up of the plankton that has gained intelligence. And it by shapes the way, its stand I, by its own, you know, plankton. I still think she's kind of cute. The, uh... But, the uh, girl. As for the dead corpse, it's puppeting? Sure. When you say it like that. <laughs> um, Dude, when you say it like that. You mean the honest weird. truth? <laughs> well, there was part when she was alive. Yeah, but that wasn't the same personality. Oh, it's back. Um... But yeah, I'm not sure how that would work Sorry, on an evolved stand like Gold Experience Requiem. Hmm. Because who knows if that thing's like weird consciousness and ability actually would work even like through the disc itself. Hmm. Oh no, I'm being pulled out of sure no. Let me rewrite this event. It, I'm literally a kid. Do you think it could have stopped Poochie? So, 
I think, and this this all comes down to the actual like story itself and character choices more than anything else, right? Um, she realized giving up would be much easier, so she decided to do that. Right now. So what? Do you think Poochie's plan was too far advanced? I don't that... think it was too far advanced. I think there were multiple chances that Poochie could have been stopped already. Like even in Jolene's choice of of uh. Like in Jolene's story, like there's at least twice they could have stopped him if they weren't as hesitant as they were in the end. Um, like even personally, I wouldn't say that like uh, Gucci put them in the worst possible position. I understand the reason why some of the choices they made were made, right? But I think, um, rather than putting the idea of ending the threat as soon as possible, they instead decided to, uh, make sure their friends were okay first. <laughs> right, like, um, for instance, right, um, rather than Jolene being more careful when it came to, um, getting the stand disc outside for Star Platinum. Mm. If she had taken Poochie out the minute he walked through the door, like she was planning to if it was a guard, it would have been done right there. Everything would have ended right there. Mm. No more Pale Snake. Poochie would be dead. No problems. But I understand, like, the hesitance. Because you're like, well, I'm, I'm a good guy, right? I've got to do the right thing. Or this isn't what I expected to be dealing with, and am I hurting an innocent person? Mm -hmm. right? Because it's a, it's a preacher. It can't be... It's a priest who's not trying to shoot me on sight. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's not... He's clearly, at least, you know, from what I can tell, not an immediate threat to me. Like a guard would. Uh, the other one was when FF could have either immediately started fighting, uh, Poochie, right? Mm -hmm. Or he could, ha or she could have finished off uh, the Yo Yo Ma stand user. Instead of going for Poochie, she finished off Yo Yo Ma to try and help Jolene and uh, Anastasia. Not Anastasia. I'm blanking on his actual name. Honestly. Honestly, thank you. Oh yeah, Yo Yo, -Yo Ma was like the pickle-looking thing. Yeah. With the, like, acidic saliva. Yep. Okay, okay. Yeah, it could have... Instead of, uh, taking out Poochie, they took out that one's user. Yeah, since I just finished episode 12 right before this, so I'm a little bit behind, but... I mean, like, I gave myself a little bit more time since Orion said that he couldn't oh, do it this... I'm not done. I only just got done with the yo -yo, with, uh, with the green baby. Oh. I don't know what's going on, Dicey. I feel... I feel like garbage all of a like sudden. Like the, the part where the green baby's like, Oh, Jolene's actually cool. Oh, That's literally Dicey, the last episode I watched. You're pretty mm. great, too. Thanks, buddy. But, um... Dex! Dex, Dex, Dex. Um, but yeah, no. It, there's multiple points there where if the, the different choice was made, they probably could have ended it right there. So 
with? I mean, like... Was there any point? No, no, no. There was no other point in any of the other parts where they could have stopped the threat. Yeah, Dio was too far away. Um, I guess and you could part argue part one if Jonathan had outright killed Dio from the beginning. Right. Like, if that would be even possible. Like, you know, who knows? Like, his gentlemanly attitude might have been what kept Dio continuing his reign of evil. Uh huh. Um, with two, with the Pillar Man. Which, uh, none of them were strong enough to do anything about. Mm -hmm. And thus we needed the whole training sequence to get there. Part four. Uh, part three, Dio was all the way in Egypt. They had to make the travel anyway. Yeah. Uh, part four, Kira was just a complete unknown on multiple certain, like, instances. And he didn't really show up until, like, halfway through? Something like that, yeah. And he was not there the whole time. Part five. The boss was hidden until the end. Yeah. The only one that knew at one point was Abakio, but he got taken out before he could even tell anyone. Uh-huh. So, like, part six was the only one where they could have stopped the threat. Mm-hmm. Where if the characters were more ruthless, they could have stopped the threat. If they were willing to go further than they, a good guy, I guess you could say, probably should. <laughs> well, they needed to keep him alive so the story could happen. I mean, again, I think Iraqi did a good enough job trying to, like, come up with ideas as to why they wouldn't. And the character's reasoning does make sense. Especially because they're not as ruthless as some of them. Like some other characters that we've seen in the past. But would you say that any of the main... Maybe some of them from part five were kind of useless. They literally beat up a random dude on the street because they just randomly thought he was an enemy stand user. Yes. They okay. definitely had no qualms. So I would say, the old, like. I would also argue Jotaro probably would do it more on instinct without thinking about it too much. Right, like, there's something off about him. Yeah, I'm just gonna kick his, I'm gonna kick his ass and ask questions later. That, yeah, that, that's how I feel the way Jotaro would have taken it if you were still young. He'd have gone for it and not even given it a second thought, really. Just like, something's not right, I'm gonna attack this shit. Holder would have been like, oh. Junior, why are you beating up a priest? The right. And Tarquin is like, don't ask questions. Kick his ass. Yeah, Jotaro would have basically just been like, um, something just doesn't feel right. <laughs> and I just felt like I had to. We <laughs> would have said, oh. You are a fan of cherries as well! Um, I'm trying to think. Would jo Josuke probably is one of the ones that wouldn't have done it. Unless! He would have been the fool. Yes! Oh, someone insulted his hair? Yes! That would be the only way he would have done it without a thought.
I did not see this. Is eyes over heaven on theme? Uh, I don't know. I know that's on some consoles. Does mm, not a that that one's here. actually fun because I did see like the story mode on a let's play of that one, and uh, it's basically what happens if Dio actually managed to get to heaven. I know it involves like I think the. The first eight parts? It does. Okay. Or no, seven parts. I don't know. I don't know if Josuke 8 is in there. Seven for sure. Yeah. And it's like a, a big crossover with like time jumping, I know. Yep. Mr. President makes an appearance. And I know that old. Like old Jonathan meets young Jonathan. Joseph? Joseph, yes, Joseph. But yeah, it's uh it's super interesting. Hey, I wonder if part nine will be the end. Because Rocky is starting to get up there. Uh, that's and up to Araki, honestly. And if part 9 w goes as long as part 8... Yeah, Araki might be in his, like, 70s then. It's impossible. Like, cancel out. He would deserve retirement then. Allow each fighter and an arena to suggest only one new rule. Then their first rule will just be that they can add more rule. Come on, rule master, you can do this! You're the best, remember? The best! You can do the impossible five times before breakfast. And then the queen asks for six. You seem stressed. See? Oh, I assure you, it's all real. You're the one with the card, right? Even something? The alchemist told just me even. you were coming, and I'm sorry even with the card, but I've simply got too much to do to help you. Maybe I can help you, and then you can help me. Yeah! <laughs> help me? Nobody can help me. The queen insists that everything I do for her be done by me personally. No subcontracting allowed. Look at this. I New like layout head for her shape. twisted arenas. Do ASAP, of course. New mechanics for the battles due last week, assigned yesterday. Five. Five new robots with complementary battle bot attack structures! <laughs> then you try telling the queen, or her bloody nanny, or even those deadly three heads, that they ask for the impossible. Ha! I may be an ancient mystic trained in the art of crazy rules more than anyone else in all of history, but even I'm not a god. Accept that now. But does <laughs> she can tell me. Does she? I'm guessing no. Correct. She does not. <sighs> Look, your card has arrived in here somewhere, and I'll get to it when I can. Just find it. Just when you said you help. Oh, you've seen him too. What's that bloody cosmic potato come up with this time? Let's take a look at your card. Oh, perfect. Just perfect. As if I didn't have enough insanity on my plate already. Ooh, but then I do love a challenge. So, what the so heck? So, do you think we'll use I'll this? Is this just when a I'm plot done, device? I'm going to send the card to the highest point in all of Five Tropolis. The top of the giant chimney. Sounds reasonable. No, it doesn't! <laughs> None of this is reasonable! 
reasonable died when the queen stole the power of so will we use this or is this just a plot okay. device me and I think the other card device. makers will imbue mm. the card with all our creative spark but the ceremony cannot be interrupted it will be interrupted can you make it extra powerful even just meet us at the top of the smokestack the card will be there assuming this works You'll have bigger things to worry about real soon. I'm assuming it's going to teleport us to Sixtopia. That's what I think it's going to do. Oh, no. Because it yes. looks like a teleporter. There. I mean, I guess it could work. Well, what's done is done. Now hurry. I'll be right with you. He didn't sound very confident with what's done is done. Hmm. Looking to get an invincibility potion, are you? Well, you've come to the wrong place. I've got cards. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, we don't have enough to get everything, but we're going to get pretty damn close. Yeah. I think it's literally three cards left. Yes. Oi, oi. Looking to get an invincibility potion, are you? Ghost. Well, you've come to the wrong place. I've got cards, though. <laughs> Treason, treachery, falsity. We even had sown the seeds of insurrection all around her. But now this vile, hateful creature was on her way to discover why she should have respected her evil. And never betrayed her queen. I can't mark up this, right? No. So if my math is right, which I'm not sure if it is. Since I don't think my numbers were right, you need about 300. Over here! It's 400. There's only others. Because I think it's Lots all of them are above others. 150. Mm -hmm. Keep them mm. back. Oh, focus. and you wait. If my math is right, 418. Us. To the end of this story, shall we? Oh, look at that! It says, Ethan lost and died alone and unloved. The end. Bernie loves her! Still accurate, the same time also God damn it, what is not what I was wanting. Since I think you have a 160, a 165, and a 170 cost left, and you have 77 money. So if those numbers are right, by the end of this battle, you should maybe have enough to get every single card. And earn that sweet, sweet achievement. She even hated herself for fighting back. Almost as much as everyone else hated her too. Except for Bernie. Now. Work would have been for nothing, you child! I should be the one that's angry right now. I've got to deal with all this shit. Alright, Dyson. Big, big numbers, big numbers, big money. You've not Just heard like, about that when someone's life dies? Sometimes people do that. They say uh, your world is ending. Okay, okay. I mean, yes, but not often. Fair. But, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what's being applied here. Yeah. I 
mean, it's not a common phrase that I heard. Much like I'm up to my asshole in alligators. I don't think that is as uncommon as that. As the saying goes. Tom, who says that? The only person I heard say that is you. But, according to the internet, up to my ass in alligators is a phrase. A hole, on the other hand, may be just all him. Either that or that's his little spin on it. Ooh, can I? Ooh. <laughs> oh, I don't. I think that's gonna disappear soon, so I don't know if I'll get it off. But that could be fun. If it works. Combo. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's here. Oh, look who's here. Yeah. And on the next episode of Lost and Random, we will take down the Queen's Shadow and go into Sixtopia, probably.